Okay. Alright, so this is an uh, interesting video, not the video which I thought it was going to make. Um, this is one just showing built up ZR2 Bison. Um, got a lot of customizations on it. It's got 35 inch tires, uh, 410 rear end, um, very much for overlanding. And one major problem I ran into on this trip, which um, is the following, just wanting to show that. So, just made it home, made it home within the last five minutes. So, this is the configuration that the truck was set up in, and you'll notice that there was a nice gap here. Actually, I'll get uh, some, grab a, show the damage. Interesting, we have frame bent on both sides um, at the crumple zone spot. So in the frame they put this uh, hole in it and that's there for a reason. That's there that that is the spot that it will bend and break. And so it happened on that side, also same thing on the other side. Same spot, we've got the same issue. We have same spot on the frame where the frame is, is bent at that crumple zone spot once again. Um, so what I figured out is that uh, and what happened was a half mile off Interstate 70 north of Arches National Park between uh, Cisco exit and then the the normal route which you'd go into um, Arches to go down to Arches there's a pathway off of 70 so we we're a half mile off the road just um, on a frontage road going up and down these um, hills, minor little hills on this frontage road. Very nice, well-maintained gravel road. Hit a, uh, hit a bump. It was a, um, at one of the dips, and it was deeper than I'd like. And but still, something where a truck like this should have been went through it fine. But it did. Uh, rear end did go up a little bit and then back down and when it came back down it, it uh, frame bent so I'm sure once I talk to everybody they'll be saying okay well you have weight on your truck which I do I've got 35 inch tires uh, so on the back I've got 35 inch tire on it we've got um, a lift uh, swing lift system for the tire which I'll open and show and um, I had eight gallons of fuel on at the time so rotopacks they were all with fuel uh, the white one was a uh, red one instead at the time so it was fuel and uh, so eight eight gallons of that plus the tire plus the swing gate lift and I'm guessing that uh, that just happened to be enough weight when you came down uh, on that rear after after going over that bump, um, and and then we end up with this. So, not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, first day in, in uh, Moab area I was just uh, wandering around uh, north of uh, Arches National Park. Um, couple off uh, off uh, off uh, road areas there not hardcore by any means but neat way of getting into arches uh, park for example to see a delicate arch without uh, 
without having to get a reservation. Um, so neat, neat parking place, about a mile and a half from there, went on that. And then I'm trying to remember Scorpion Wilderness area. There's uh, there's an area there that uh, also looked down into from the, from a canyon's uh, rim. So that's what we were doing. This is built for overlanding. It wasn't hardcore um, off-roading. Um, first day, very, very disappointed in the, in the damage from it. Um, and again, I'm not entirely sure what you're supposed to do. You would assume that a truck like this would have no problem opening the swing gate. I assume it would have no problem like this um, with the with the swing gate and the tire on it inside of it uh, fridge two water containers and we'll have some other things in there some food and some some containers uh, toiletry uh, gas cylinder um, but not overloaded by any means with the weight in the back of a truck so interesting i'll probably go into more of this later on but uh, did want to kind of give everybody if you've got a truck like this and you are building it up and you want to put a lot of weight on the back on the on the swing hitch a big tire for example like where else are you going to put a 35 inch tire it's not going to fit underneath um <laughs> uh, 33 inch tires about the max you can fit in there with some customization so there is no room under the truck for a 35 inch tire and with what i've got here with the rooftop tent diamond back cover um I, that tire would take up the entire bed so that's why it was on the swing gate so but I'm sure that will get into some interesting discussions um, uh, if I need to deal with Chevy or uh, <laughs> Chevy or insurance companies so anyway real quick just wanted to give everybody a heads up on the truck thank you